Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. My name is Matt and I'm your big tube handler for today. Today's video is sponsored by Silencer Shop. They allow a brief period of time that I can take possession of NFA devices for review or any kind of information gathering to present to you all so you can be better informed about your NFA purchases since the wait times absolutely suck. Silencer Shop goes the distance helping make these purchases as seamless as possible. After all, the last thing you all want to be is buried in floor crushing paperwork like these poor souls. Now, if I played my cards right, I will get a first for this. Today's suppressor is from Chaos Gear Supply Group. Say hello to the 3D printed Heck 8 338 silencer. Yes, a 3D printed 338 suppressor. Okie dokie artichokey, we go over all of our basic specifications in the beginning of our video so that we can get to the shooting in the second half. We are 10.8 inches long, our OD is 1.75 inches, our weight is 17.6 ounces, our exit hole on the included end cap which is interchangeable is 0.375 inches. We also have tunable end caps in varying designs that will become available later in production. Our rear portion of our tube is our serialized part. This particular Hecate 338 suppressor is direct thread in 3 quarter by 24 threads. 5 8 as well as the standard M18 patterns will be available as well. We have wrench flats at the front and rear for installation. The rear is 1 inch and the front is 7 8. This 338 suppressor is rated all the way up to 338 Lapua Magnum as well as 338 Norma Magnum. There are no barrel length restrictions, although I'm not sure anybody makes an SVR338. As mentioned, the core of the Hecate is 3D printed from 6AL4B grade 5 titanium using a direct metal laser sintering process. Think 3D printing, but more industrial scale using metal, of course. The baffle core uses the VCD or variable core diameter technology that they developed from the Hyperion 762 model. They mentioned benefits of reduced back pressure and better sound suppression with that baffle stack. Our internals are coated with boron nitride, which they dubbed S-Line, and that's to help cut down on any carbon buildup. And originally when the suppressor was new, it looked like a unicorn had farted inside of it. I do not have an MSRP for this can. But unfortunately in 338 Lapua, I only have one host, and that is our Ruger Precision Magnum that we have here. We've got a Brownells MPO 5-25 up here with an ADM quick detach mount. I've got various Anarchy Outdoors accessories on here. I've got a long shot precision adjustable bag rider here. This is a very sweet setup that I enjoy shooting at what I have for long range, which is about 200 yards. Here we have our CGS Group Hecate 338 3D printed suppressor. We have our Ruger Precision Brownells MPO. We have a steel target at 200 yards. We have two reduced power, close to subsonic loads, then a full power. Let me get my pullover set here. It's quite a bit of drop with the reduced power. Hit. Hit. Now here's our full power. Probably knock my piece of steel around down there. Hit. Awesome. Really 
quiet suppressor. I have some SBR 300 grain Sierra Match Kings loaded in here. I don't have a proper stand for my steel targets from RMA yet, but hopefully this will uh, stand up to the challenge. And it's already down. But you could probably hear that from back here. Now that we've had some trigger time on our Hecate 338 from CGS Group, I like to go over any positives or constructive criticism that I may have found while shooting it on our host. The first thing is it's very lightweight. The only other can that I've shot in 338 was the OSS suppressor, and that was, I think, 24 ounces. I do like that we've got wrench flats on the front and rear of the can, so it makes installation a lot easier and that the end cap is removable. There is threaded portion in there, so when those tunable end caps become available, I think they mentioned better flash suppressant ones or a little more sound suppression, you can change those out pretty easily and you don't need any special wrenches to do it. I like that it has an attractive design that it's not just another boring round black tube. The 3D printing process always leaves this kind of weird, rough, sandblasted texture on the outside, and I do like it. While I don't have a sound meter, my ears told me that this can provided pretty good noise suppression with our full power ammo. My quote unquote subsonic loads that I was running through here were just about 50 feet per second too fast. So in all the footage, you could hear that supersonic crack. In the accuracy department, as far as any point of impact shift going from no can to can on our host, the spec sheet said that you may notice a six inch variance there well, in this case, with my host, your mileage may vary. You could have a different baffle alignment depending on how many threads you have on the end of your gun. I actually noticed a two inch rise using the same ammunition between no can and can. Another positive I found about running the Hecate 338 was the good recoil management, at least to my shoulder. When you're running in calibers, you typically have a huge muzzle brake on the end of here. So I ran with no muzzle brake with the muzzle brake on them, with the suppressor on there, with full power ammunition. And because suppressors still trap gases inside of them, the felt recoil to the shooter is still like you are running a brake. Didn't have any trouble running, I think probably 25 or 30 full power rounds to this over a couple day testing, and then the rest of it was all that subsonic ammunition. Obviously with this traditional direct thread suppressor, there is a length penalty on your host of around 10 inches. But as far as weight goes, our Ruger muzzle brake here weighs 14 and a half ounces, so you're only gaining three ounces of system weight by going to this Hecate 338. As far as any constructive criticism or concerns with this suppressor from CGS Group, absolutely zero. This thing is freaking awesome. If only suppressors weren't part of the NFA. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this brief demo of our Hecate 338 suppressor slash silencer from CGS Group. As I close out all of my videos, I take a moment to thank all those who help make these videos possible, especially since it's 2021. Number one is my Patreon supporters. Number two is Silencer Shop for loaning us this awesome can to test. And of course, number three is you all for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you at the range. Hit. When the suppressor was new when I first got it, it pretty much looked like a unicorn farted inside with all the neat colors. That's kind of rather boring to say like that, but... Yeah, I do like it. And I do like it. Well, I'm just going to leave it. As far as any constructive criticisms or concerns that I have with our Hecate 8 from 3-3... Three th <laughs> Hecate 8 from 3 3 8. Shop Authority Program, who again, like I said, gets us cool access to cool access to cool